In every superhero movie I've ever seen, the hero wins. What makes someone a villain in this game is killer instinct. When it comes to Survivor, you can play any way you like. The question is, who does it better? A hero or a villain? I've always just had this extreme sense of right and wrong. A villain is someone who will stoop to any level, whatever it takes to win. I think a hero is somebody who stays loyal to the ones they say they're going to be loyal to. There's nothing like looking someone in the eye, telling them they're safe, and then watching them get their torch snuffed. Survivor's ready! Survivor's ready! Survivor's ready! Survivor's ready! Go! 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 to cross basically any lines don't really mind courage takes on cunning honesty takes on deceit which path leads to soul survival Survivor's Ready, Australian Survivor is back for season eight, would you believe? Now, that's doing good numbers in, a, you know, numbers of seasons and good business for 10, that where it lives. If if Merit at First Sight is the granddaddy now of Australian reality television, then the American version of this format, which has just been renewed and, and season 43 has been filmed, season 44 is coming, the American version of Survivor with Jeff Probst fronting every single episode is amazing. And it really informs uh, Australian Survivor. We've got our own Jeff Probst Light in Jonathan LaPaglia, who does a fine job as the host of Australian Survivor. They're back in Samoa after having a COVID series in Australia. The Heroes and Villains format is the first time we've done it in Australia, and it works really well, thanks to some really excellent casting. Now, if you've seen the promo or watched it just then, you'll know, maybe picked up on some of the voices, that there's a bunch of returning heroes and villains, uh, cast members from past seasons that really do bring their A-game for the best reality TV series of it all. I've seen the first three, the first week full of episodes of this, and I am absolutely gobsmacked at how good it is and how fresh it feels. Season eight, that's a tough gig to make a reality show feel like it's fresh and smart. And because Survivor is challenge-based as much as it is um, interpersonal relationship based, the challenges can't be old and stale and they've really smashed that out of the park. Um, and the interpersonal stuff, because we've got returning survivors and new survivors, that throws a whole big new sort of wrench, uh, you know, spanner into the mix because then if you're the, and Haley won last season. So of course she's the first one with the target on her back. George is there. He lost to Haley. He's got you know, bone to pick with her as much as he wants to prove that he's the greatest survivor of all time. Then you got Shawnee, who's like Little Miss Horrible. You know, it's it's pretty incredible. And I have to say, if you're a fan of the series or if sorry, you're a contestant on the series and you haven't watched any of the Australian or American versions, what are you even doing on the show? Like, it's pretty amazing. Right from the opening challenge, the heroes versus villains uh, thing proves that uh, the, the game this season is going to be as difficult as you'd expect and absolutely as entertaining. There is real competition for, in the first chance, they get to, you know, get stuff that will help make your life better at camp. And the villains play into their stereotype with stealing stuff and there's wrestles for gear and, and it's interesting to see what the outcome is and what that looks like. It's pretty massive. The majority of the first episode, of course, has to be introductions. Who are people? Where do they come from? What's their background? What do they reveal about themselves? What are they keeping to themselves? Because as I said, that interpersonal relationship stuff is so important, not just in surviving the game, but of course, then when you get to the, the pinnacle of each episode, tribal council, where it decides that the tribe that lost decide who's going um, and what that looks like. And how does that mean for, for people who have to, you know, live with each other, but stab each other in the back of an evening? Um how are they going to play the game? Who are these new people? What does it look like? The twists and turns are phenomenal. I had a bit of a think. Now, when you think about it, uh, these are our returning heroes or returning cast members on the heroes team. Flick, 
Hayley, previous winner, Nina, Sam, and Sean. Sean is a unit. He's massive. So there's five returning heroes. And I think what they embody, what does it mean to be a hero in this in this game? Integrity, effort, and some selflessness. I think that's really what makes it work. But of course, to survive in this game, you can't just be the nice guy. Hmm. As far as our villains go, returning uh, cast members, George, as I said before, Jackie, the poker player, Geordie, oh, I hated him so much, uh, great character, Shawnee, bleh, Simon and Stevie, and then there's six other new villains all lining up, all trying to have a go and prove that you know, they can out-villain these villains that we've seen before. There are also new people that you might recognize. Michael West is a journo. He's in there. Benjamin Law, who I love dearly. Um, he's a writer. He pops up and he loved playing the game for all of the things that he can say publicly right now, of course. Um, there's a friend of mine, Matty Sharp, who is a lifesaver. It's great to have him in there as well. And look, fans of my Unreal Housewives podcast will know that this name dripping off my lips is just poison to me. But former Real Housewife of Melbourne and journalist, journalist Angeli Rao is a part of the game. And I have to say, the only word I've got for Angeli is schadenfreude. I've already got my faves and my faves to hate. I know that you will too. It is absolutely brilliant. Heads up, rogue's a bitch. Take it for what it's worth, but you get to see that for yourself. Now, another little mock handy tidbit slash warning. The first episode of Australian Survivor is two whole Australian human hours with ads. So it's massive as well. And they have a big first segment before they go to an ad, just like uh, Idol. It's a big, everyone's trying to hook everybody in. This is on my must watch list for Q1. And I really hope it does good business for 10. They deserve it because everything is on the screen and you're going to love it. Australian Survivor season eight. There are heaps episodes. It will be running three nights a week, but it kicks off Monday, the 30th of January. That's three big reality shows. Monday, the 30th of January at 7.30 p.m. on Channel 10 and on 10 Play. 